Hi, my name is Anna Iersch. I'm a theoretical physicist at the Max Planck Institute for Gravitational Physics in Hanover, Germany. Um, in 1989, on November 9th, when the Berlin Wall fell, I was a little older than four. I was a Pratt kindergartner in a small town in the south of Hungary. Actually, I didn't have a concrete plan. I just wanted to make an important contribution. And while it's not for me to judge whether I reached it, I feel really lucky that I'm in a position where I get the chance. Our present universe is very diverse. It's full of structure of planets, stars, galaxies, even weird objects such as black holes. In 1964, though, the experiment in front of which I'm standing was the first to show that all this complexity emerged from simplicity. The early universe that this experiment measured was as simple as you can imagine, with all matter and energy densities distributed in an absolutely uniform way, and the shape of space-time, its geometry, was the simplest possible you can imagine. So you, what you might not expect is that all this simplicity emerged from a violent quantum event that we call the Big Bang. And the challenge in my research is to reconcile this discrepancy. My solution is quite unconventional. Since I suggest that there was no Big Bang, instead the universe emerged from a long phase of contraction in which all unevenness, all inhomogeneities and anisotropies were smoothed out by the universe slowly shrinking down to a small and hot size and transiting to a current expanding phase through a big bang. In my research, I have shown that if there was a big bang, it's not possible to end up with a simply early universe as we know it from observation existed. No matter whether the bang um, was followed by a phase of slow or fast expansion. But I also have shown that you are not stuck with this problem. Because once you replace the bang with a bounce that connects a phase of slow contraction to our current expanding phase, the universe has not, no choice but shrink down to a simple state exactly as we observe it today. I believe the main benefit for society is that I answer a question that we, all, that we all want to have answered, where do we come from? What you might not expect though is that my research, to test my research, inspires new technologies that really pushes the boundaries of what we can do. For example, putting a telescope into the South Pole or into the mountains of the Atacama Desert in Chile. Once you have a smooth and uniform universe, the question remains what gave rise to all the structure that we observe today. Planets, stars, galaxies, and ourselves. The very idea I'm working on right now is that we all emerge from quantum fluctuations that were making this uniform, contracting universe a little inhomogeneous. And what I'm doing right now is trying to do an experiment, trying to see how it happens. I'm trying to put the universe on a computer and see how it bounces and how it transmits all the fluctuations that eventually give rise to structure. I'm really excited about the opportunity that we could find something unexpected that eventually could be measured by experiment and give an ultimate proof for us living in a bouncing universe. And that's what keeps me awake at night. As for my best friends, they think it's quite cool.